Thanks, Jim. Justin Stone here, EliteBaseball.tv. You know, Jim, last time I talked to you and I was on your full podcast a few weeks back, I talked about some of the physical movements we need to be working on this time of year that aid with our baseball skill. So many things that happen in baseball we try to correct with a bat and a ball in our hand. But in reality, the movements that we have are just the way our body's been physically prepared to do certain actions. I talk a lot about dynamic balance in both pitching and hitting. The definition of dynamic balance is the body's ability to do something on one leg and be comfortable in doing so. Oftentimes, hitters at the big league level will have lar larger loading mechanisms than what they used to have 15, 20 years ago. And the reason is I can harness a little more of the body's energy if I can create more stretch, and oftentimes that's done over a longer period of time in the load. But your body has to be comfortable being on one leg longer, because if I'm increasing my loading mechanism, I'm also increasing the time in which my foot is in the air. Now with young players, dynamic balance is really hard because their brain panics when they get on one leg. They're not comfortable doing it because they don't do it very often. Think of your first motor skill of, of being on all fours and crawling, right? Something was on the ground all the time, multiple pieces at one time. Now we go to a standing position and we start walking. And what walking is, is moving forward and catching myself from falling. So even there, very rarely, do I have one foot in the air for any long period of time? Because I'm reestablishing balance with each step. So now I'm asking a player to pitch or hit and keep that foot in the air for a longer distance and a greater period of time. So what do they do as a hitter? Is their brain goes into panic mode. It said, uh-oh, I'm not comfortable being on one leg. Hurry up and get that other foot down to reestablish balance. So what is one of the main problems we have with youth hitters all the time? They lunge. They rush to their front side. And all the time, their hitting coaches are telling them, hey, stay back, stay in the back leg. Don't lunge forward. Don't go forward of center. But their brain isn't comfortable enough on maintaining that dynamic balance in their back leg, or they're just not strong enough to do it. Not enough force into the ground. So very simple drill that I'm going to have you do, and this will give you some better balance, stability, confidence, and strength. And it's just simply standing on one leg. But here's the catch. When we stand on one leg, there's a couple of rules. I'm going to get my feet together, I'm going to raise my knee up to my waist, and it has to stay at my waist. So now I have a little bit of strength and stability into my plant leg where I have to put force into the ground, as well as be stable at the ankle, knee, and hip. Now I'm going to make it more difficult by eventually taking one sense away. So the body, when it's off balance, also use sight lines to help reestablish balance. You take the sense of sight away, balance becomes a lot more difficult. In fact, it's run by your inner ear. That's what controls the balance of the body at that point. So what I'm going to do, after they can hold for 15 seconds by looking at the horizon, now we're going to hold for 15 seconds closing my eyes. And the first time I did this myself, I started falling over at three to five seconds. Be surprised, even if you as an adult, you stand up and try to do it with your son or daughter, how often you're going to fail. But over time, the brain gets more confident, and even with the sense of sight out of it, it also gets more adapt of feeling the body and using the other senses to reestablish balance for better stability and strengthen the legs. So a very simple drill right there we incorporate into our strength building plan. And we're doing this through a variety of different assessments that we do on athletes to find out where they're strong, where they're weak, what their mobility restrictions are or mobility biases are. And you can find that on EliteBaseball.tv. And then we, for you, will organize your own individual strength and mobility plan that will help you on the diamond based on what your individual needs are from these pass or fail assessments. We're really excited about bringing that to you. It's a new piece of our website that we're going to have coming up in just another week. So come check us out today at EliteBaseball.tv. And until next time, Jim, I'll see you on the field.